There were two films that sort of uh, got the American eye, so to speak. Uh, one was Turkish Delight, which was my first ever film, and it's a beautiful uh, love story. And then the next film that got uh, the attention was Soldier of Orange, which was uh, 78, 9, something like that. And that sort of really helped me to realize that there was a possibility, maybe, to actually work in English uh, in the States. So that sort of started my whole international career, really. In the beginning, I don't know, I never believed that acting was about communication. I thought it was just a bunch of, you know, you know, tricks and, and make-believe. But there's pure communication if it works. And, and that is, I think that's, that's sublime, you know, it's genius. I mean, it's amazing to see how that works. The thing about Blade Runner, which to me was, you know, my most unique film ever, uh, and I was part of it, you know, uh, was that the Japanese, you know, you name the people, they all got hit the same way. And in that way, you sort of put your arms around the world, you know, in one moment, and it's yours. I mean, all these people are suddenly yours, and they live anywhere, and I think that's amazing. And what is even more amazing that it's 25 years later now and it's still that way. There's a uniqueness to the whole film that it would live that long and the film is about time, you know, moment, time. Everything dies, all pixels fall apart. Everything falls apart constantly, it's, a, it's, an, it's nature. I was at a screening about uh, five years ago and it was a really bad print and, and my heart was starting to bleed, you know. Not so much of the content, but just because the material was falling apart. And I, thought, I, I had a feeling, okay, so it's over now. So I was sort of celebrating the fact that it was over. And then five years later, they go, no, 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 we've done another one. Do you want to be part of the publicity? Of course I will be, you know, it's like, yes. I thought it was a very uh, uh, interesting undertaking. And the character sort of struck me as maybe, you know, something I could do, I could play with. Because the, the, the character to me is, is almost a mystery, and I like mysteries. I know where they live. I, I like it when characters in films have a bit of a, a mystery. It has to be open to interpretation so people can think whatever they want to think rather than laying it on them, you know, in, in broad, in a broad way. We turned it around, um, I wouldn't say 180, but we sort of opened it up to a, a, a sort of a, a, a vaguer interpretation. Uh, there was jealousy in the role, which was so on the nose, and uh, I just felt, you know, I could do something else with it. These walls are a place of reflection and loneliness. It takes time to get used to. If it gets too claustrophobic, I hope you would let me know. We've been doing that every day, really. Just turn it, you know, turn the scene upside down and go, okay, <laughs> let's see what comes out of it. It's almost like if you do the prep work uh, for the role and for the moments, and you do the aftermath, the moments you leave them alone, almost, almost blank. I think that's so much fun. You can trust me now. I'll never give up on you. It is supposed to be open to you as a viewer where you fill in the blanks. I love the blanks. I think that's what makes the movie.